Hello everyone and welcome on behalf of the Save Your Skin Foundation of Canada to our informative videos. Today we are going to do a presentation on the basic science behind cancer titled What is Cancer? This is a human cell. We have tons of these in our body that make up our different organ systems, allowing them to function properly. There are different cells depending on the organ system. For example, we have brain cells, also referred to as neurons, we have red blood cells, also called erythrocytes, and we have skin cells. There are different types of skin cells, such as basal cells, keratinocytes, and melanocytes, just to name a few. The cells within our body know when they should divide and when they shouldn't. For example, in wound repair, there are specific signal molecules that are released that tell the cells within the skin that they need to divide to repair the wound. However, under normal conditions, these molecules are highly controlled so that the, skin, so that the cells will divide at a steady pace that allows for normal skin renewal. Now, let's look into more detail at the different layers of the skin. The skin has three layers. We have the upper layer, called the epidermis, the middle layer called the dermis, and the bottom layer called the hypodermis. We are mainly going to focus on the epidermis and the different cells within this layer. The epidermis itself can be divided into different layers with specific names, but we're going to focus on the overall picture here, so I won't go into detail. First, let's look at the basal layer, which is the bottom layer of the epidermis. In this layer, we have the basal cells and the melanocytes. The melanocytes are responsible for producing melanin, a substance that tries to protect your skin cells from UV radiation. The basal cells play an important role in producing new cells that eventually move, move into the upper layers. The cells that I want to address, the other cells that I would like to address are the squamous cells that form the upper layer of the epidermis. So let's look into what happens to these cells in skin cancer. When we are exposed to UV radiation from the sun or tanning beds, what happens is our cells, which once divided normally, can no longer control themselves and begin to divide even if they don't receive any signal molecules. The type of skin cancer will depend on which cells become dysregulated and continue to divide. If it is the squamous cells, then the cancer will be squamous cell carcinoma. If it is the basal cells, then the cancer will be basal cell carcinoma. And if it is melanocytes that become dysregulated, then the cancer is called melanoma. So what can you do to protect yourself? Try and stay out of the sun as much as possible, especially during peak hours between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you do go out in the sun, try and stay in a shaded area. And remember to protect yourself with a broad spectrum SPF sunscreen and to reapply it. Also, try and cover up when exposed to the sun, such as wearing a hat, sunglasses, long long sleeve shirts, even UV protective clothing. Pass these sun safety tips to others to help reduce everyone's chance of developing skin cancer. If you have any questions or want to see more videos like this one, please visit our social media pages and our website. Thank you for tuning in.